y'all i had to move inside because it was getting dark and um there are mosquitoes outside because it just finished raining today it's been raining a lot today so basically i was telling you about um chef Aki and how she had made this video talking about community and living in belize for like the past four years and in that video she was just talking about how People, oh, how people have real community and how people are living life, right? So she gave this really great example that I want to give you guys, right? And so in her example, she had said, okay, hey, let's say that I wake up in the morning and then I decide what kind of resin I wanted to burn, whether that be frankincense, copal, or something new that I learned called pine resin. And then maybe I call one of my girlfriends over to help me cut up the yams for dinner and cook for dinner. And while she's over helping me peel the yams, um, I'm talking about <laughs> uh, what my, ba my man did to me last night. And we keep keying about that. And then maybe I take a walk down and I see somebody in the community and we start to have a conversation. Or maybe I go down to the beach and relax and get in the water. But you see in that day, things were getting done that day for one's well-being and um, spending time with people just in the community. Now, in America, and this is not to knock America, I think America is a really great country to make money. Like, I will never knock that for America. Like, I think America is great for making money. But usually people are waking up to go to a, a job, a nine to five or whatever job they have, and then they get that free time on like the weekends or on their days off. And so I find, in my opinion, that people in other countries, like Jamaica, like Haiti, like um, maybe even Spain, like whatever other countries they are, um, that I find that people can live. People know how to live and to be. People know how to live and to be. And in America, we know how to do very well. We know how to do, D-O, in parentheses, very well. I don't think we know how to be very well, right? So for example, let's say that I was just at a farm, right? And two guys were playing chess and they were just enjoying their evening playing chess and that's it. And maybe they will be playing chess outside of a house or outside of a shop. And maybe you're driving and that's what you see and that's normal. But in America, people may say, oh, they're loitering. Like they're loitering like that's what they're doing, they're loitering. How come they can't go and do something? Well, they're being, they're enjoying their life, they're having a chat with a brother, and they are enjoying a, game, a good game of chess. There's not necessarily a goal in that, it's just being. And so I, when I say that I have had to reorient orient my mind to success, or what success looks like for me, these are some of the thoughts that I'm having, right? These are some of the things that I'm looking into, some of the opinions of others that I'm dissecting for myself. Because I think maybe if I think about an example of success, it's okay, let's say there's this guy. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. He got a corporate job. He does very well. He makes over six figures. He's at 100K to $200,000 a year. Drives a really nice car. But um, he's always, you know, always busy, always doing. And um, there's nothing wrong with being busy, y'all. I don't, I don't think, I'm not knocking being busy and grinding and getting your money. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think everybody should have that in their seasons of life. Um, but maybe another guy is in Jamaica or St. Croix, and he knows how to build a house. <laughs> he knows how to go get the coconut. He knows how to, um, let's see what else people could do. <laughs> he knows how to work with his hands. I mean, that's just the best way I say it. You know, I'm just like, he may not have a six-figure uh, six corporate job, but if the lights went out, he would know exactly what to do and how to provide and how to serve, how help he, keep us alive and survive and thrive. Now, that's an example of success that maybe if we were just thinking about America, an American standard that may not be what success looks like. And so I've just had to sit back and think, well, what does this look like for me? And what does this look like for me in partnership? Does this fly I want to kill? <sighs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> what does this look like for me in partnership? 
And um, that's been really interesting because I feel like when I'm in Jamaica, I do see a lot more people um, being. There are people, they, people do. There's a hustle here. But there's a lot more of a well-being here, right? <gasps> I feel a lot more connected to nature. Um, and people just seem a little bit more happier. And I don't mean everybody. Like, everybody's life is different. But I think that I could be really happy here is what I'm saying. And I've just had to kind of change my mind on what success looks like because maybe one day it was a three-story modern home in a really beautiful neighborhood in Atlanta and working really hard to keep a seven-figure business and support employees and really trying really hard to grow that and think about all the things that everyday people don't really have to think about when you're running a seven-figure company. And all the stresses that come with, and even though the money is good and the success looks great on paper, how is my mental health, how is my heart, and how is the rest of my life? Outside of my business, what else do I have going for me? What else is making me happy? What else is bringing me joy? You know what I'm trying to say? Those things. So I've had to think about like other things outside of monetary value. Nothing wrong with that. Or business. That brings me happiness. I've been having to think about a well-roundedness when it comes to my success. I think that's a more accurate term. I've been having to think about a well-roundedness when it comes to my success. A lot of times it was very business-focused. It was very grow the business, focus on the business. And now it's more so focus on you, Olenike. Like, what really makes you happy? Oh, I've never had this experience before. Let's see how it is. You know, I think... (laughs) I think right now I feel like I'm in a, um, you only live once (laughs) mode. And I know we have multiple, I don't know, I believe we have multiple lives, but I feel like I'm 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 in such a like, let's let's, let's just do it because I feel like it, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just do it because I feel like it, um, There was this post that was like, oh, to be a responsible adult every day, but like, do we have to do that every day? Every day seems a bit excessive. And I agree with that because I'm like, oh, sorry, I keep yawning about apologies. Um, Every day I'm like, you know, it's just like, I'm in a more, let's just do an experience and just do it for the heck of it, right? Like when I decided to go live in Jamaica for 30 days because I felt like it. Or now I'm back in Jamaica in three weeks because I felt like it. And it's just like, I just want to do stuff now that makes me happy. That brings me a smile to my face. That brings me some joy. And maybe back in the day, I would have like second thought a lot of things before doing them or super planned them out before doing them. And now I am really in a, I may, let me enjoy my life mode. Let me enjoy my life mode. And I will say that it's nice to be that way when you when your finances are a little bit more supported, right? And so you guys know I do digital marketing and I sell my Married to the Money course that teaches you how to set everything up for your Wi-Fi business so that you can start making money online, right? You get to sell the course, you get to make $500 or more per transactions, and the course teaches you how to sell the course and set everything up. And so that's been me doing that has been really well, been doing really well for me. And it has allowed me to have more of my freedom. And I am going to continue to promote this to you guys for all of my selfish babes out there that want to be able to have more freedom in their lives. that want to travel more. that want to earn more money. You guys really could be making so much money on this app. Literally investing $500 one time is going to change your life. And, or you do a buy now, pay later option, and now you invest $50 to $100 a month for a course that's going to change your life. Or you save $100 a week for six weeks. You know, There really is no excuse on why people should not be starting. Um, and there's really no excuse you have, selfish babe, in my mind, if, if, if this is something you want to do, right? People spend money on a whole bunch of different things every single day. And when you make spend money on something that's going to help you make money, mm, okay? Anyways, that's been doing really well for me, and I'm super grateful about it. And so now I am very much so. What makes Olenike happy? And now I'm like, well, what is success to me? What does that look like? So I've been, like, feeling that out. You know, I've been able to look at the beach for the past three days and be in the water. Like, last night I was at, yesterday I was at the beach and in the water literally all day. I, like, swam 
with a life jacket for the first time for like a long distance. I used little fins for the first time. And that was just a beautiful experience. It's pretty random. It wasn't planned. And I just felt really happy to do that. You know what I'm trying to say? It's just like, wow, I get to live my life. You know what I'm trying to say? I get to live my life. And that's making me really happy right now. And it's so interesting because I don't know what I was doing before. <laughs> Literally, I don't know what I was doing before. Um, I was definitely building, I was doing things, but I don't know if I really felt like I was living. And it's not until now that I feel that way, which is so interesting. And I want everybody to feel this way. I want everybody to feel they, they can live as well. But I want to end this podcast. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know I've been thinking more about what does success mean to me and reorienting my mind to what success looks like and what it can be, and knowing that everybody's idea of success is not the same, and knowing that my idea of success is not the same as what it used to be, right? It used to be a three-story modern home (laughs) in Atlanta running a seven-figure company, and that's not it. Now it's being able to get the freedom to travel to Jamaica every three weeks or every two weeks or anywhere in the world, you know, um, just the freedom to move around, the freedom to decide what I want to do because I feel like it. That feels so good to me. That type of freedom feels amazing to me. And I'm extremely grateful and blessed that I have this new perspective on this type of success in my life. And so what I want you to do, Selfish Babe, I want you to think about what does success mean for you? What would that look like for you? Maybe it is a seven-figure company with a three-story modern home. You know, I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying that I had that and and I don't think I... I don't think I... Excuse me. Wanting that right now. So, what does it mean to you? Think about what it means to you. Journal about what it means to you, and kind of go from there. I've been thinking a lot about what it means to me, so it's it's still a work in motion for me. But I just wanted to bring it to your forefront, guys, and to let you guys know that success is gonna look different. And I've really had to change my mind. I'm still changing my mind on like what that actually fucking looks like. Anyways, I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already subscribed. Make sure to check out my How to Become the Selfish Babe in Your Life ebook, where I teach you all about my spiritual self love rituals that I have done myself and that I still do to show myself love on a deeper level. It's going to give you the spiritual baths, the spiritual hygiene, all the things that I do. Um, check out my Marriage to the Money course if you want to resell a digital course you don't have to create that teaches you how to sell so you can start making money on Instagram make sure to check out evolvingbutterfly.org for my goddess vaginal detox pearls and make sure to download my app Selfish Babe to get daily affirmations and self love notifications to your phone alright I think that's everything exo exo olenike exo exo selfish babe love y'all